Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded and Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host, Jermaine, talks to another creator in regards to their mindset and a bunch of other cool stuff. But for the most part, this podcast is about the mindset and the things that we as creators go through on a daily basis. And this week we have a special guest. It's me. It's just me solo podcast today it's the holiday season it's coming up i don't want to try to get on everybody's radar and everybody's schedule i know everybody's moving up and down around town trying to make these lunches and dinners happen with the family so i decided to bust out a solo dolo podcast just to go over how i'm feeling do a check-in with you. Make sure everybody's feeling good. If you have any questions, you can ask me, shoot me an email. You can leave a comment in whatever podcast download you have of choice. I'm there. But we're going to start this off with me bragging a little bit. 19 weeks or 20 weeks in a row of me doing this show. No hesitation. No signs of stopping. Has it been easy? Um, Yes and no. The first episode... Shout out to Bomber for being my first guest. His podcast episode got destroyed on the internet. Luckily, and by internet, I mean Podcastle, the place where I host and uh, record my podcast. It was probably on me. It was the first time of me using it. I was trying to do video and audio, and that was not happening. <laughs> so that was episode one. That was like 20 weeks ago. That was almost three months, four, four, five. Anyways, you hear what I'm saying? Other than that, there was, I did have an issue with, uh, shout out to Asha. She was the only podcast guest who has done this show twice, uh, but we've only recorded once because the first recording just, again, got eaten up. But I thank you again, Asha, for being patient with me with that. But we got it done. There have been a few close calls as far as getting the podcast up. I uploaded every Tuesday at 8 a.m. Eastern time, and then I make an announcement around 10 a.m. Eastern time just to make sure that it is up for everybody. But there's sometimes, man, like I still haven't figured out what the culprit is. But if I change, let's say, a number on one of the episodes in the back end, for some reason, Spotify is like, nah, man, you can come talk to us tomorrow. And I always forget about that. So I freak out all of Tuesday until it shows up. Anyways, doing the podcast has showed me a lot, has provided me with a lot of awesome insights to myself. And I want to share some of those this episode. So sit back, relax. It's going to be me talking about I'm with five steps on how to better your life. I don't even know if that's exactly what I would say this is, but these are five steps that have gotten me to not only restructure what I want to do with my content, but it has also put me in a place of just, I don't want to say awe, but just happiness. Like I am stoked to be doing what I'm doing right now. The podcast is feeding me, it's feeding my soul. The content that is not just the podcast is actually it's making me happy as well because I'm doing things that I enjoy and the numbers are being reflected of that enjoyment. So without further ado, like I said, if you need a snack, go grab something to eat. I don't know how long this podcast is going to be. I'm not trying to talk your ear off, but I do have a few things that I want to say and I hope you listen. And you know what? First, we'll start with this. What is the aim of this show? I created this show because twofold i love talking to people who i love talking to creative people simple as that if you're a musician if you're an artist if you make youtube videos about minecraft like all those people have very unique views on the world and look at the world in a certain particular set of eyes and i just enjoy talking to them now i really like talking to like-minded people i like talking to people who understand that there are there's energy and there is something amazing about what we can do and what we do on a daily basis that can help change and shape this world for the better i know that's a mouthful but that's that's what i believe i believe content and we've seen it across many genres and medias that content if done correctly can help change lives it can help 
brighten your mood, but it can also do the opposite. So I'm in the business of making content that makes people feel happy, that makes people think. So that's where I try to aim all of my energy towards when I'm making content. So the aim of the show was to talk to people like that, to hear what they think about in regards to the content, not only because I, again, I enjoy it, but I think creators listening and ingesting the thoughts and ideas and the conversation around other creators is very, very beneficial. Now, I wouldn't say I'm a cocky person. A lot of other people would, but I am very confident when it comes to things that I put my energy into. And that's because it's just been not only years of just repeated success when I, when doing a certain thing, I will get into that a little later, but watching a bunch of videos in regards to like artists and athletes and successful people, there's always a through line. There's always something that's the same with all of them. And for the most part, it's all been mindset. Now you have to have different mindsets for different situations, but for the most part, I believe the more that we are able to block in and control our thoughts and be more present, the more we are able to create whatever reality that we want. So I have been spending a lot of time just researching not only my own, but with my wife in regards to just how the brain works, like what interactions are good for the brain, what are actions are bad, just what does the brain do? How does it interpret things? And holy crap, there is so many things that I need to figure out a great way to convey this to everybody, because a lot of people I would say are wasting time with a lot of stuff. And I feel like if they just knew, like, for instance, our brains are amazing to the point where you can tell it repeatedly something that is not real. And eventually it's going to believe it and start acting in a way that makes that not real thing a reality. I'll say that again. Our brains are so advanced and dumb at the same time <laughs> that we're able to create things that are not real. I think ultimately whatever we feed our brains, whatever we spend our time and our efforts and our mindset on, ultimately that's going to determine our realities. So I have for the last, I don't know, three years, forever, like my entire life, I guess, but with more purpose now have changed the content that I consume. I'm changing the people that I allow interact with me on a daily basis, or I, I, change the amount of information that I receive from certain people, just making sure that I am as clear and, and ingesting what I want as possible. Like it's not, I'm not, uh, I'm not a crazy person. Listen, like I still enjoy content that may be not the best for your brain, but like going from a lot to a little does wonders for your brain. I am feeling that gap with other pieces of content, mostly things on the study of the brain or content creation as a whole, or probably like anything that I'm interested in that it feeds me and is pushing me forward to my goal. Like that's what I'm starting to ingest more of. So let's start with this list. It's a quick list. I don't know what I would title this list, but these are things that I actively noticed that I was doing that have led me to a better happiness in regards to my content goes. So number one, know your values, what you believe in and what you want out of life. I'm going to go ahead and wrap those three into one. I believe knowing those three things will help you hone in on a type of content that you want to create and how you want to go about doing it. I think those things are very important. I can, you know what? I might have talked about this later, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. No, it's number two. So to tie that in, knowing your values, what you believe in, and what you want out of life, to me, that should automatically lead you to not care what other people think in regards to you as a person, what you believe in, or the content you're creating. I feel like allowing others, especially strangers. Okay, listen, everybody, listen. If we could do one thing, if we could just acknowledge from a non-emotional standpoint, if we look at it, I'm sitting here, someone writes on my YouTube video, leaves a fucked up comment, 
I am not going to allow that person to affect me mentally because they don't exist. Like they are not in my life. They're not around the court. They can't like come to my house and be like, Hey, let's hang out. Like uh, if you look at it like that, that person does not like, yeah, that, that comments there, it was came from a screen name. That person does exist. Like we can't allow people who don't either are not friends of ours or not family members who don't have a negative or positive impact on our lives, like physically, like they can do something and it will change our lives dramatically. If they can't do that, fuck them. You can't allow that person to affect your mood. I go further than that. I, I don't allow anybody to tell me who I am or allow me to feel a certain way, but it takes years and years of practice to get there. But you have to believe in yourself when it comes to this content creation, when it comes to anything, period, you have to believe in yourself. You can't wait for other people to believe in you. You can't wait for other people to see your vision, your belief in yourself and your belief in whatever you want to make needs to be unwavering. Simple as that. There are going to be times where you are about to go do something that's new and your body's going to freak out because unfortunately when new things occur, our body goes into this weird, I need to make sure that you're safe mode and that fear that we're feeling because we don't know what's happening. Our, our subconscious, our brain is starting to go, oh, fear means death. We don't want to die. Let's pump the brakes as fast as possible and stop us from trying to pursue something that we know that we want, that we know that's going to be beneficial, that will make us happy. So you got to believe in yourself 1000%. You can't wait for people to believe in you and you can't, you just can't, you can't do that. Number three would be surround yourself with like-minded people and replace your entertainment with things that enrich you. Again, I kind of talked about this earlier, but for me, this is a big one. I'm sure there's been multiple studies, but I am under the belief that the more content that we consume of a certain whatever, like if the content that we consume was always hateful, we're going to be a hateful motherfucker. And like hatefulness is going to show up in our life because we're going to be reacting unconsciously to a whole bunch of things because we keep watching a bunch of hateful shit. I believe now I have replaced my content with things that enrich me. Like, let's say I'm really learning how to use DaVinci Resolve. So I'm watching a bunch of videos on that, or I'm watching videos on how to market, or I'm watching videos on how to be inspirational. I'm watching videos on motivation. I'm watching videos on stuff like that. Gone are the days are where I'm just watching a bunch of bullshit just to pass the time. Surround yourself with like-minded people. I feel like I've said that almost every episode and I haven't make sure that you surround yourself with people who understand what it is to be your creator or who understand what it is to have a passion for something that you want to pursue. Cause if you don't, you will surround yourself with people who who constantly, are you done yet? What is it? I don't understand. Like, are you finished? Like what's going on? can't have that shit in your life. So at least a few people that you can like circle back to and be like, Hey man, I'm going through this. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. No problem. <laughs> Number four, be present. It took me a while to realize what be present means. And fortunately, a meditation really helped me with this. There is a product called a Muse headband. Essentially, it reads your brain waves while you do whatever meditation you uh, set on your phone. And it makes is biofeedback. It makes like certain noises to allow you to know that, hey, you are in a state of calmness or you are in a state of relaxation. And knowing that for me, having the headband on, doing it, hearing the birds and feeling that feeling of, okay, this is what that feels like. I'm able to do that shit whenever I want. And like, I know it's right because I know how it feels in my body. It's been dope. And the benefit of being present is for me, I won't say this for everybody. When I'm present, I'm not worrying about the tasks that I need to do tomorrow, or I'm not worrying about the tasks that I didn't do. I'm usually in a present moment, like I'm with the family, we're hanging out, we're having jokes, or I'm watching TV, or I'm in the moment of making this podcast. Like being in the moment is highly underrated. And because we are constantly on the go with our phones, with so many things vying for our attention, it is very important to take I step back every once in a while and just sit back and relax and just let your brain chill. 
I know there's a thousand studies on this. I don't have any off the top of my head right now. I could just go ask my wife. I'm like, hey, babe, uh, start spewing some facts because that's what she does. And I appreciate her for it. <laughs> but yes, be present. It, it's helped me immensely. You should try it sometimes. And number five, this can go either way. I, I'm just going to start by saying this. Try and set an intention for everything you do. Daily would be awesome, but let's say you're about to start a new project. I'm about to make a new YouTube series and it's going to be about ice cream handles and that's it. Ice cream scoops. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm going to set an intention for that. Like I, my intention for this piece of content is to not only be entertaining, but to show the history of ice cream scoops. That's my intention. As long as you have an intention. And you say that shit out loud and you set it and make sure that you are like, make it something real. I feel like the process goes through smoothly. Now I've started to usually, let's say if I'm going to a big event or I'm going on an outing or I'm going somewhere where it could be problematic. I set an intention of how I want that day to go. And nine times out of 10 doing so allows me to enjoy the rest of the day and go through unscathed. You should try it. I do plan on switching up my streaming schedule because I do want people to do I think setting intention in the morning before you go to school or go to work is awesome. It's a good practice to get in. And I feel like I am perfect. I'm the one like, let's make this happen. Let's show people how to set intentions. Anyways, those were just five random thoughts that I had burning in my head. All things that help me where I am today, help me put me into the mindset that I am today, which is everything that I touch, it's going to be successful. And it's just only a matter of time for it to happen. If you know anyone out there who could benefit from listening to other creators talk about their woes and their wins and their mindset in general, please share the podcast with them. I would truly appreciate it. Upload it unfiltered. You can search for it on Spotify, Apple, Google, if they haven't deleted their shit yet. And YouTube, I'm there as well. Other than that, I appreciate you. If you haven't already, go ahead and leave me a five-star review on your podcast, Music Listener of Choice. And other than that, yeah, I'm out. But yeah, as always, protect your mental, keep creating content, and I'll talk to y'all on the next one.